All right, first thing we're going to be working on is we're going to make sure that we're really aware of where our weight's going. If we want to be able to throw the ball hard, we have to get our weight going to the plate. So first thing I want you to work on is use your back foot. I'm left-handed, so it's my left foot. If you're right-handed, make sure you're using your right foot. But I want you to stand here almost like you're in a set position and just rock your weight back and forth. Feel the weight on the ball of your foot, feel it on your heel, and feel the difference three or four times and then settle with your weight right over the center of your back foot. If you can keep your weight through the center of your back foot as you're shifting forward, you'll get that nice straight stride, all right? So we like to call, we call it target position. We do try to work on when we're adding awareness on working on our slide step out to a good target position. It's a little bit different position for everybody, but what we like to do is feel the weight from the ball to the heel and then go side to side, Let me turn this way. So I can feel that weight shift from the outside right through the center line over the arch of my foot moving forward. All right, once I've got a good feel of that four or five times, then I'll work on my target position. Just trying to land nice and steady. All right, nice and steady. So we're going straight forward. Whenever I'm doing this, I'm also focusing on separating my elbows and really stretching my body wide. We don't want to get too stuck on lifting up. We want to think about separating our body, stretching out our muscles, and, and getting our shoulders to close just, just a little bit through that process. So here we are again, if we can practice right there, just nice and easy for our younger guys. Work on doing this, you gotta be able to do this 10 times in a row. If you can't control your body weight, we can't get your weight going to the target, and we're not gonna be able to get good power in the strike zone. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure we're able to do that, and then we can start adding speed, momentum, Increasing our timing, start adding a lot more power. So that's step one.